Hey gamers, Minus10 here, and I'm coming to you with a very quick video update on my recent review of the Drunk Deer A75 keyboard. Uh, the reason why is one of my viewers reached out to me and let me know that Drunk Deer actually has a web app that you can access directly from Drunk Deer's website to make changes to your uh, Drunk Deer keyboards. I'm assuming this works with the G65 and other Drunk Deer keyboards, uh, but today I'll just show you how to use the application with the A75 keyboard. So first of all, uh, a big shout out to my viewer uh, who raised this to me. You know who you are, so uh, thank you very much. So uh, to get to the web driver or the web app is what I'm calling it, is you go to the, uh, the homepage of Drunk Deer, uh, you click on your keyboard, mine's the A75, and you'll land, uh, you'll come to the shopping page. And what you wanna do is you wanna scroll down, you're gonna go past the marketing material, uh, you're gonna go through some of the system specs and you're gonna land at this section here. And you have the option to download the Windows drivers, which I, I think most Americans at least are very used to downloading apps, opening up an app and then making changes. Uh, but right in the center here, you can then go to the web driver. And I believe Drunk Deer is now branding its software called Drunk Deer Antler Software. So we'll click on this. Now you're gonna get this uh, security screen. So what you wanna do is first is click on connect your keyboard and you'll get a, again, a security notification. You wanna pair it to the Drunk Deer A75 and presto, you come to the Drunk Deer Antler web app. Now, um, we'll, let me delete this so we can start fresh. So you have a profile here. So this is your standard profile. What I did for my, my profile is I just, I select all and I set my travel distance to two millimeters. So this would be working productivity apps. Two millimeters is a good setting. So you're not uh, accidentally hitting a whole bunch of keys. Uh, I don't want turbo mode on because I do like the RGB and I don't want rapid trigger on all my keys. And of course I do not want enable keystroke tracking. So that's it. I just have two millimeters and then I click save to keyboard. Okay, now for Warzone, which is the game I normally play, I'm gonna create a new profile. Uh, we'll rename it. Uh, we'll call this Warzone. And uh, obviously this is in Mandarin and clearly the blue is, is to say, okay. So now we have our Warzone pro profile. What we're first gonna do is select all the keys and make sure that the uh, act actuation point is 2.0 millimeters and two millimeters for resetting. Just because if it's a non-game key, I don't want it too sensitive to where you accidentally spam that key. We'll hit save. Okay, now we're gonna clear, and then I'm only gonna select the keys I use in Warzone. So we'll act, we'll set all these keys. It's surprising how many keys you use in uh, Warzone. When you're not looking at the uh, keyboard, you don't realize. So these are the main keys I use. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set the activation point at point six millimeters and you notice that on the web app it can increase or decrease by 0.1 so that's a nice noticeable change over the downloadable app so we're gonna set that at 0.6 and then for uh, key sensitivity sensitivity determines how far you need to release or press a key to deactivate it or reactivate it so we're gonna set that to um, 0.4 and We'll do 0.4 on both of those. So uh, we activate it uh, at 0.6 and it has to travel. Let's make that 0.2. Let's make that a little bit more sensitive. Or actually, for the main keys, we'll do 0.4. So we'll save. And then for my, we're going to clear all the keys. And for my, uh, for my non-lethal utility, which would be stun grenades and smoke brigades, uh, we're going to set this for a rapid uh, rapid trigger so I got the Q and the E and the E I use for melee so what this is saying is that I need to go down 0.6 millimeters to actuate the key and then travel 0.4 millimeters to reset it so it's a real real fast uh, actuation and reset and what I'm going to do is uh, save these two keys and actually I'm going to make this 0.2 let's do 0.2 and let's save the keyboard and so what you can clearly see is uh, for the Q key, it, I can go down 0.6 millimeters to actuate it. 
Actually, let's change that to 0.4. Let's make it really light. And we're going to save that to keyboard. So for all my other, my main key, uh, my, my Warzone keys, I can set the, act if you look at the W key, it, it, it's, it's uh, one of my walking keys. I, I can press it down 0.6 millimeters to actuate it and then 0.4 millimeters to reset and reuse the key. So it's pretty quick. For my Q and E key, I have these very sensitive so I can spam the key. And you can see that to actuate that key, it goes 0.4 millimeters down and then 0.2 up to reset it. So, so that'll be uh, my rapid trigger keys. So that is, uh, that is uh, a fantastic option that is uh, available on the web app, but not on the third party app. So let me hit save here. Um, and this, this application is way more intuitive and easier to use in third party app. Now, the other thing is you can change the colors and to change the colors, you just select what color you want to use. Let's say I'll just do uh, stars. Obviously I'm a gamer, so I want it as bright as possible. Crank that up to nine. And then to see the effect on your keyboard, you have to click save. So now that's saved, I've got the uh, stars color on my keyboard. So, so again, uh, just a quick video out to all my viewers who uh, have watched my Drunk Deer review on the A75. Again, big shout out to the viewer who raised this to me uh, earlier this morning. And I hope this is useful uh, for my viewers who are uh, using the Drunk Deer keyboard. It's, it's fantastic. I really enjoy this keyboard. I think it's a good value for the technology technology you're getting. And uh, if you're looking for a gaming keyboard for first person shooters or battle royales, I think the Drunk Deer is a affordable entry point for getting the adjustable mechanical switches in a gaming keyboard. So uh, thanks for watching. And if you found this uh, video useful, I'd appreciate a like on the video. And of course, if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down in the section, uh, comment section below. I read all my comments and I usually respond to all of them pretty quickly. So thanks for watching.